Hello everybody! Welcome to a new series of tutorials on CubeSynth Pro from Versin. Um, it's a new application, a new synth uh, just released by Versin and it doesn't disappoint indeed. Before I continue with uh, uh, the video, I just wanted to uh, remind you that I have a number of codes to give away courtesies of Versynth, so just follow the video um, description uh, or the instruction in the video description to uh, participate in the giveaway. So, um, if you like um, AdStation, well, this is even better in my view. If you thought AdStation had a few things missing, well, this will give you definitely additional things that AdStation didn't have. Particularly the ability to morph between, between one sound source to the next one, which is really, really new. It's, um, yes, funded on the same concept of working with additive synthesis, which is great. And as you know, using sine waves, and in this case, up to 512 per voice, you can create any different, any type of sound. And he sounds absolutely great. Absolutely fantastic. So first of all, you have a rich sound uh, re bank. So a lot of instruments, uh, more than 400, which are categorized here, as you can see, between ARP, bass, cube, pro, percussion. You have MPE support, which is really fantastic. And uh, Try some of them because are really nice. These apps are incredible. So let's listen. But um, you have uh, also some fantastic um, uh, simulation as well. Let's try these uh, ice organ echo. Or you have some, uh, uh, for example, um, vocals, which are really, really nice. And, and much, much more. So there are lots of very, very nice instruments. So particularly the pads, I recommend that you listen to this video using some headphones because you can uh, hear the morphing from one sound source to the next. So let's try. As you can see in the middle of the screen, you can see uh, that little dot which shows you how, where you are in the envelopes and all these segments which you see here, which can be configured up to 64, will help you to move through the envelopes and also to move from four different sound sources which you find here designated from A, B, C, D. And if you click in one of them, this is where you see uh, the additive synthesis power behind the scene where you can des decide how to conf configure all the different partial in decibel, you have pump position, attack, decay, filter and noise. You can also randomize the creation, for example, of the level and the um, position in decibel of all the partial, which uh, will give you really nice um, sounds and effects. <laughs> and so on and so forth. The great thing as well is that you can load also waveforms, which is really nice and you have lots of them. So let me show you these in action. So if I click outside and I go to the uh, to one in it uh, uh, instrument, which by the way, you find in every uh, different sections, you have more than uh, 400 instruments, uh, which comes uh, with the application, which is really good. So you can choose ARP and you go to init and you have an init instrument or an initialized instrument. You can see here the dot, as I explained a moment ago, which shows you how you move through the envelope. 
Well, let me click on the on the sound source B and click the randomize button here. You can hear that is randomizing effectively the use of partial and with the levels in decibel. As I mentioned a moment ago, you can load um, as, um, different waveforms uh, for the, your source. For example, you can say load a soprano A. Now it is morphing from um, some source B to some sword, some source A. You can see here. So you can go in some source A and also load, for example, a soprano U and try. So you can hear straight away the morphine from one sound source, in this case B to A. So this is quite quite unique. You ask also unison up to eight and you can detune them of course you have new um, parameters that you can adjust for the complexity behind the additive synth like brightness which helps you particularly when you use something like additive synth you can adjust volume the effect the pun spread and you can randomize also the settings here on the screen again you have another dice there and this will randomize the different sound sources which you can see you click on it you see they're different okay and um, oh you can randomize up here the entire setting on the screen in this case you also see a different envelope segment which uh, are up to 64. So if you go to the envelope section this is where you have your typical envelope but you can set it up for three different dimension if you like the volume x-axis and y-axis which is really nice and you have here at the same representation that you have on the cube screen and um, and again, here you could choose, for example, for different types of envelopes. And for example, from source A only, we want to have attack the K, like so. And, and then you can also adjust them as you as you like. If you click and let go, you see uh, the starting of the dots for the envelopes, and then being dropped as I let the the key goes. Um, and you can scroll left and right etc so really really nice you have uh, an arpeggiator as well up to 32 step with a lot of different options as well and also for the arp you have also arp presets which is really nice you have an effect as well so this is where you can set um, your reverb your chorus effect Your delay etc etc so lot of uh, potentials you have CPU usage here and and then you have also the ability to record which um, this was present in other uh, instruments from uh, or application or apps from Versynth so overall this is a fantastic um, app you have also um, key quantization options. You have key hold, you have scale as well. So let me show you some additional instruments. So let's, for example, uh, try a bass, this nappy bass. Really nice. Let's add some unison tuning let's go to the effect add some delay some reverb increase the, the dry the wet parameter give it a little bit more chorus for example more depth And of course, if you have um, 
key quantize off you can for example slide uh, left and right for example with your finger in the keyboard and change the pitch you can see here you have modulation wheel enabled on the y-axis so if you move uh, on the keyboard here up and down you can change the modulation wheel settings change at the same time moving left and right the page so you you have fantastic uh, fantastic option as i mentioned the, the the best thing for me is this ability to move from one sound source to the next one which is really fantastic for which you can also adjust timing as well uh, remember, um, it's also AUV free compliant. At the moment, I'm showing it to you in a standalone version, but you can run inside AUM or another door and you, and you can have multiple instances. Therefore, you can use it in your composition. It's, um, it's uh, a really, really great tool. And in my view, it adds um, the next dimension that perhaps other station didn't have. I hope you enjoyed this initial overview and see you at the next video. Bye.